Evan Keegan's team in fourth place after a tremendous run of form. And our man at Highbury is Barry Davis. Behind every quality goal scorer is a quality passer. And Peter Beardsley could be forgiven for wondering whether cap number 50 is now once again within reach. And among the uh, opposition lineup, Paul Merson will be wondering what the managerial change at the head of the English game will mean to his international career. The Arsenal lineup shows Eddie McGoldrick and Jan Jensen recalled, but not yet Tony Adams still looking a little peaky after a bout of influenza. And for Steve Morrow, it's the first home game since a gymnastics display in the League Cup final came to a rather sad and painful end. Newcastle United, not surprisingly, are unchanged. Four straight victories, 14 goals and only one against is their recent record. Robbie Elliott continues in place of the injured John Beresford. And Steve Howey, injured in the season's opening game, has made it back as far as the substitutes bench. The clock end at Highbury, fully open for the first time, which gives the stadium now a capacity of 39,000. Referee is Alan Gunn of South Chaley in Sussex. And side by side, the two men who, before kickoff, have captured all the headlines. This game develops in pattern. Newcastle United likely to be one of the sides to come here to Highbury and attack. Not too many Arsenal fans will tell you have done that this season. First chase for Wright. And first field of the ball for Mike Cooper. by Lee Dixon and Merson was unmarked as he made the header good stop here's Sellers Leak Cole good challenge Dixon Offside, but he was so swiftly away from his man, and it was an excellent challenge by the Arsenal skipper. And ball that looks right gets in behind Scott. Pace at either end. Anything Cole can do, right determined to do better, and vice versa. Ball on the near edge of the six-yard area. Smith behind. Ball got a touch. They're queuing up. And Ian Wright opens the scoring. First blood to Arsenal. First blood to Wright. But crucial to it was a little touch by Ball. The marker didn't make it. And Wright got up beautifully. Ball passing between goalkeeper and defender, it looked. Actually off the man on the line. 18th goal of the season for his club. Pearson makes the first run, it's hit longer and well claimed. Challenged by 
by Benison. This has all the makings of a very memorable match. Oh, that's superb. Both by Sellers and by Beardsley. That's for Cole. He was well policed by Nigel Winterburn. What a nice attack. Which in the end didn't cause the crowd behind David Seaman to react. On by Smith. Taken by Wright with difficulty. Lee. Cole. Lee in possession. Cole makes the run. Lee with the shot. Robert Lee has not been in goal scoring form this season. It's any goal indeed in the League Cup competition. It's not the best appearance that David Seaman has made. Might just be costly. Here's Beardsley. Peter Beardsley because he suggested the shot early, took the defender by doing so, who went in and committed himself, but Cole was just offside. Even so, an excellent stop. Bracewell. Scott again. Beardsley. And one extra touch he didn't want then. And at half time. Arsenal ahead, deservedly, and by right. Ian's 18th goal of this present campaign. Well, there's been much talk recently about skill of young players. Well, here during the halftime interval, pupils of the Northwest Harrow School are being taught the skills of Veal Kerver, the famous Dutch coach, under the tutelage of John Morton, the director of coaching at the English Schools Football Association. Good to see. Well, Arsenal have conceded only eight goals in their 16 and a half league games. It's a record that Newcastle, rampant recently, have got to dent. I'm going to get something out of this visit to London. First attacking pass was a disappointing one from Robert Lee. Steve Watson with a bit of room. Clark, the player on ahead of him. And control. But not by the skipper. Watson had stayed forward. Interesting header. Clark. Driven cross. Cole. Watson shot. Feel for offside and given. Disappointed not to get that on target. Smith looking for it. Venison tidying up. Having to do it again. Good save by Hooper. And without 
wishing to be unkind to the goalkeeper. He looked a lot better on the save than he did when he came out with the punch. There was a touch of blinking the eyelids about that, but the save was excellent. looked up, hit it very cleanly indeed. Excellent parry by David Seaman. Here's Winterburn. the scorer or manager but once again they didn't take the man on the near post they didn't take the man coming in and it's Arsenal 2 Newcastle United 0 Bracewell two players who've gone off in all that Clark and Elliott Matthew here on the chase is one of the substitutes and the other is Steve Harry. Watson. Cole. And again Cole beats Lee. Lovely goal. off the defender made the deflection 2-1 life has changed for them very quickly in the last few moments right 20 minutes gone 25 to go a lovely turn Smith header wrong side of the post from the Arsenal viewpoint about Beardley's balance, what about this fellas? Are you disappointed Smith? Keown does well. Stop the run there, but it runs to right. Man behind him is Smith, tried to get the flick and it wouldn't come off for him. 
Harry able to recover. Superbly away. Tried to flick it to Smith, who'd made the run, but it came off the heels of Harry. Right. Beautifully away. Smith. Clear stumble. Watson was at pains to make sure he wouldn't be caught out by anything. Quite so animated on the north bank, but they're showing plenty or giving plenty of noise. Right. And still right, went through Venison. Good reaction from Mike Hooper. Nice reaction too that followed it. A man denied and man who saved by sticking out the leg. <laughs> Referee has a word of two. He's had a good match at the back. That's how Steve Bowles won the tackle of Bart. Watson. Lee. Beardsley makes the first run, makes the gap as a result. Good shot, good save. Good stuff from Robert Lee. But again, such thinking by Peter Beardsley. He created the hole. The flick back, up comes Lee Cole. And amazingly just wide from Steve Watson. It's all happening in front of David Seaman. This was the Lee run. Look how Beardsley goes then. And there's a hole that's created, and just a touch. It was an excellent save by David Seaman. Wright is onside. Merson is up. Oh! Again, he got away. But again, the shot is the wrong side of the post. Lots of goal mouth action, lots of entertainment. Wasn't much room, in fact, there wasn't enough for Mercer. Watson. Did well. Matty in space. Plenty in support. Hits it long to Scott Sellers. Got a block off Dixon. Acrobatics. Sell as well. Dixon blocked the shot. Good try by Lee. And there are five minutes of that half left. And here is Wright with a chance to finish it. He's gone too far across, surely. Oh, but even so, he got in a good shot. But if he hadn't gone so far, it might have been a telling shot. Commits himself from right leg. Anxious expressions now. Oh, not sure what Wright was trying to do. Cole! That was the foot that got there first, I think, of the goalkeeper. Hesitancy in the Arsenal defence. Acrobatics from Cole, but it's the foot that makes the first save. And we're now playing the time that Mr Gunn has allowed. The victory is Arsenal's, and 
sweet it must be. Wright, who scored their first goal, had opportunities for others. Smith scored their second, both from corners. Peter Beardsley scoring immediately after Smith's goal. And from that moment on, a rollicking match went on to its conclusion with scoring possibilities at either end. But in the end, you can congratulate the victors and commiserate with the losers. A good match. What's he like, Andy Cow? He's a great lad. I mean, people that know him in the North East know he's a great lad. And although he didn't perform as well as he would have liked today, he's got the ability. I think he's learned a lot of Ian Wright. I believe they played in the reserves together. He's learned a lot. And I think looking at Ian Wright today, that's what Andy Cole has got to try and emulate. And I think given time and given the chances, you know, he will do that. I think, you know, Ian's the finished article in the Premier League, whereas Andy's uh, the young young lad uh, learning his trade. But, um, I mean, I can see a big future for Andy as everybody's forecast, but uh, I think he's still learning his trade. So what in Ian's game should Andy be trying to copy? Um, I think he's all-round uh, play. He's, he's hard-working, works very hard. Uh, getting into the positions, um, you know, Ian, over a period of time, has scored goals, which Andy's got to do as well. One final thought. You've been stuck on 49 for a long time. Uh, there's a change at the top. You're still hopeful that 50 might come along in caps? I think the best chance I've got is if I get the job myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a good win for Arsenal.